Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about a very important cross used in genetics and that is known as the back cross. First of all you must know that what is a back cross. It is a cross in which the F1 hybrid or the F1 offsprings are crossed by any of the parent. Means the F1 generation is crossed by either by the dominant parent or by the recessive parent. Say for this is a F1 hybrid. Capital T small t. How we got this F1 hybrid? When capital T capital T is crossed with small t small t, we get capital T small t. Now, when this F1 hybrid capital T small t is crossed by a dominant parent, or when this F1 hybrid is crossed by a recessive parent, then this is called as a back cross. Okay. Now, the back cross is basically of two types. One is known as a dominant back cross and another is known as a recessive back cross. The dominant back cross is also called as the out cross and the recessive back cross is also called as the test cross. Okay. Now very first you must know that what is a dominant back cross or a out cross. Okay. So always remember that it is a cross. It is a cross between the F1 offsprings and their dominant parents or I can say when F1 generation is crossed by the dominant parent then such a cross is called as a out cross say for these are the parents capital T capital T and small t small t these are the parents say for these are the pure tall plants and the pure dwarf plants when I cross I first get the F1 generation which is capital T small t. It is a hybrid tall. Now when this F1 generation is crossed by the dominant parent, this one capital T capital T, then such a cross is called as the out cross. And when this F1 generation is crossed by the dominant parent, we get F2 generation. And in F2 generation, you can see that we get capital T capital T capital T capital T capital T small t and capital T small t that is we can see here that homozygous and heterozygous are same here or we can say that homozygous and heterozygous ratio will be here 1 is to 1 okay I am repeating again the homozygous and heterozygous ratio will be same here that is 1 is to 1 and what is the result of the outcross you can see that in the F2 generation 100% plants are tall. You can see this that it is homozygous tall, it is homozygous tall, it is heterozygous tall, it is heterozygous tall. Means all the plants in F2 generation in outcross are 100% tall. But one thing you have to remember is that that the genotype and the phenotype ratio are not the same here because all the individuals are tall and here the genotype and the phenotype ratio are not same. Okay, so this is a type of the back cross known as the dominant back cross or the out cross. Now coming to the second one that is known as the recessive back cross. Now what is a recessive back cross? It is a cross between F1 offsprings and their recessive parent. Means I want to say when F1 generation is crossed by the recessive parent then such a cross is called as the test cross or the recessive back cross. Okay. Now always remember that test cross is a type of back cross but it is not vice versa at all. What I want to say test cross is a back cross but back cross is not a test cross because back cross may be out cross also. So what you have to remember that test cross is a type of back cross but back cross is not a test cross okay now this test cross may be of two types one is known as a monohybrid test cross and another one is known as a dihybrid test cross okay here for cross I will be taking only one contrasting character and here I will be taking two contrasting characters for the cross because it is a monohybrid test cross and it is a dihybrid test cross okay here we will see that in a monohybrid test cross the ratio will come out to be 
1 is to 1 while in a dihybrid test cross we see that the ratio comes out to be 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay now see here monohybrid test cross I have taken a single character okay say for I have taken tall and dwarf plants means pure tall and pure dwarf plants I have taken as parents now by crossing these parents I will be getting F1 generation and in F1 generation you can see that I got capital T small t which is hybrid tall now we know that a test cross is a cross in which the F1 offsprings are crossed with a recessive parent so I will be crossing this F1 generation with a recessive parent see this small t small t small t small t so when F1 generation is crossed by a recessive parent then it is called as a test cross now look over that what we get in the F2 generation now capital T small t capital T small t small t small t and small t small t so these are all heterozygous and these are all homozygous okay now what is the result of the test cross the result of the test cross is that here the percentage of the tall plants is 50 percent and the percentage of the dwarf plant is 50 percent but here in the case of the outcross you have seen that the result was that 100% plants were tall in the F2 generation while here 50-50% of the tall and the dwarf plants are present also you have to remember this thing that here the genotypic ratio and the phenotypic ratio is same that is 1 is to 1 but here in the case of the dominant back cross the genotype and the phenotype ratio was not same okay now one more thing that this one dihybrid test cross as we know that in a dihybrid test course I will be taking two characters okay so I have taken two contrasting characters round yellow and wrinkled green these are the parents when parents are crossed together we get the F1 generation and this is the F1 generation capital R small r capital Y small y now this is round yellow because capital R is dominant over small r capital Y is dominant over small y now this F1 generation is crossed by a recessive parent this is the recessive parent Right, because in test cross we cross the F1 generation with recessive parent. So first make the gametes to know the F2 generation. First make the gametes from this F1 generation. Capital R, capital Y, capital R, small y, small r, capital Y, small r, small y. And here we'll be making a gamut small r, small y. Okay. Now let's have a cross. This is crossed with this one. Capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. Capital R, small r, small y, small y. This is crossed with this one, small r, small r, capital Y, small y. This is crossed with this one, small r, small r, small y, small y. Okay, so this is what, round yellow, this is round green, this is wrinkled yellow, this is wrinkled green. You can see that I have got one round yellow, one round green, one wrinkled yellow and one wrinkled green. So the ratio comes out to be 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. I can say that the ratio of dihybrid test cross is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 okay now one thing to be remembered here is that that why do we do the test cross so test cross helps to find out the genotype of the dominant individual that whether it is homozygous or heterozygous again I am repeating test cross helps to find out the genotype of the dominant individual that whether it is homozygous or heterozygous so uh, this video was based on the back cross and the out cross and the test cross. These are very important crosses used in genetics. So thanks a lot for watching me. We will be coming soon with few more videos. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.